Hi everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I have a Merry Christmas Trio set of cards which are really quick and easy to make for the holidays. This video is part of Justine Hovey's 12 Days of Christmas video hop, so I'll be giving you some information at the end to continue on to the hop. But first I want to show you how I made my trio of cards. I am starting off with a panel of cardstock which is cut four and a quarter by five and a half. And I've also cut some Tim Holtz paper to go into the bottom and I believe that's about two inches by four and a quarter. Also a strip which I'll stamp my Christmas and then also some die cut pine needles which I'll be adding some glitter. So I'm using the Simon's Stamp stained glass greeting as the main focal point for my stamping. Since I'm making a batch of cards, I'm using my Misty Stamp Positioner so I can stamp repeatedly onto my panels of paper. So I've just used my anti-static pouch since I'll be white embossing my stamped image and I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Clear Ink to ink this up. Once that's inked, I'll close the door and press with my fingers to get a good impression. I'll be using my white embossing powder which I keep in a tray and I just spoon it right onto the card with my plastic spoon and I leave that in the container and then I tap off the excess and then heat set that with my heat tool. I have done the same process on a piece of schoolhouse red cardstock as well as my black cardstock and also on a piece of desert storm cardstock. On each of the strips I'll be stamping the word Christmas and I have my stamp on my grid paper here and I'll close the door and put that stamp right onto the door and I'll ink this up with some light colored ink so I can see right where that image is going to land. By using the grid paper and having my words stamped on that paper I can easily stamp my strips on top by just placing them right on top of the word and then putting my magnets in place to hold the paper in place while I do my stamping. And once I have everything aligned I'll use my anti-static bag once again and then I'll ink up my stamp with my clear ink. Then I can shut the door and stamp right onto the strip. And once that's stamped, I can use my white embossing powder and then heat set that with my heat tool. And you can see how the placement is perfect right in the center of that strip. I have my die cut pieces here. I have just die cut these from Nina White cardstock. And this is the Simon Says Stamp die. And this is the pine needles border. So it gives you a really nice kind of snowscape pine needles border. I'll be using the Tim Holtz Rock Candy Distress Glitter to add some glitter to this and my matte medium from Ranger as a glue and I'll just be applying that with a paintbrush and then sprinkling my glitter on top. This is a really easy process so I'm just dipping my paintbrush right into that matte medium that I've put onto my glass surface and just brushing those pine needles just to make sure I have them really well covered and once I do I'll sprinkle them with the rock candy glitter and then tap off the excess and I'm using a coffee filter as a catch and once I have that done I have them really well covered with the glitter and I'll let those dry and then I can continue with my assembly. Putting these together is really easy. I'm just putting my pine needles just under that stamped Mary and I'm using my dot liner glue tape and then I'll also use it on the back of my pre-cut papers and like I said, those are cut two inches by four and a quarter, so they go just perfectly right onto that front panel of cardstock. The die cut with the pine needles is a little bit longer, so I will snip off the excess once I have everything else in place. So I'm just lining up this top paper right in place and then pressing everything down and just using my scissors on the edge to trim off the excess of the die cut. For the strip of paper that I'm putting on top that says the stamped Christmas, I am cutting my foam tape in half just using my scissors and then adding that strip to the back of my message strip. Uh, half of that tape fits really perfectly on the strip and then I can just put this right down in place to finish off the card. Using the same sketch for multiple cards and just changing out your card colors and some of your printed papers makes it really nice for when you're doing a lot of batch cards for the holidays. As part of this hop, you have an opportunity to win a few prizes and you have to answer a question in each of the comment sections below. And my question to you is, do you have a themed tree or do you use old traditional ornaments on your tree? We happen to use some of the old ones from my kids when they were in school and it's really fun to pull those out each year and take a look at them. 
The winner for this contest will be announced on November 7th on Justine Hovey's YouTube channel, and I'll leave a link for you below. Also, follow the link below to your next destination for the 12 Days of Christmas video hop. And as always, thanks so much for watching.